Hey everybody, this is Brian with Seafoam Official. This video is for all of you RV owners with generators like this. We're gonna show you a very simple, very effective system that covers the three keys to helping your generators start easier, run smoother, with more power. We're gonna show you how to clean and stabilize your gas generator's fuel system, how to lubricate and protect carburetor intakes and chamber areas during storage. Then we're gonna show you how to clear out a gummed up carburetor. Virtually all RV generators are two cylinder, four stroke gasoline engines with carburetor intakes. Many generators often sit for several months at a time. And because these fuel systems are vented to the atmosphere, lighter fuel evaporates from the carburetor and the remaining gasoline molecules become unstable leaving heavier petroleum varnish that gums up and restricts fuel passageways. All you need is a can of Seafoam motor treatment, a small fuel tank like this with fresh fuel, a short section of fuel line, and if you want to fog your cylinders for long-term storage, a can of Seafoam spray and a plug wrench. For cleaning and storage treatments, we recommend a mixture of one part Seafoam to two parts fresh gasoline. So I'm going to add half a pint of seafoam to one pint of fresh fuel. Now remember that seafoam is made from highly refined petroleum cleaning and lubricating oils. There's nothing about seafoam ingredients that could cause any harm to a fuel system or engine parts or components. In fact, the more seafoam you add to fuel, the better and faster it cleans and lubricates. Let's get started. Step one is to start and warm up the generator engine. If the generator runs, start it up and let it run for at least five minutes to heat up the intake. If it doesn't run, don't worry, we'll cover that in step five. Step two is to disconnect the fuel line that feeds the generator. An RV generator's fuel supply comes from the main gas tank. After warming up the generator, shut it off and then disconnect the main fuel line from the generator. Step three is getting seafoam into the carburetor and chambers. With the fuel line removed, attach your short piece of fuel hose and submerge the other end in the high seafoam and gas mixture. Start the engine back up and just let it run for at least 15 minutes on the high cleaning concentration, allowing the seafoam to draw through the carburetor circuits and into the chambers. Now shut the generator off. Seafoam is now working to dissolve and liquefy harmful gum and varnish from needles and seats, carb jets, float bowls, fuel nozzles, intake valves, chamber areas, and compression rings. Step four is hot soaking the engine and engine storage. At this point, you have two options. If this is a routine cleaning, let the seafoam hot soak in the chamber for five to 15 minutes. Then start the engine back up and let it run for another five minutes, allowing any dissolved hydrocarbon residues to burn through. When you're all done, reconnect your main fuel line. If you're planning to store the RV for a season, you're all done. Seafoam not only stabilizes the fuel, it's a high temp oil that works to lubricate and protect the carburetor, intake, chamber, and compression rings. For an added measure, pull the spark plug and spray a long burst of seafoam spray into each cylinder cavity. Then just set the plugs and wires so it's ready when you need it. Step five is how to clear out a gummed up carburetor. Here's how to clear a gummed up carburetor on a generator that starts rough or won't run. Follow the same instructions as step two and three, except drain the carburetor bowl and remove the spark plugs. Then crank the engine with the plugs out to draw the high concentration of seafoam through the carburetor passageways. Once you've drawn the seafoam mix through the carburetor and into the chambers, let the engine sit with the plugs removed for one to three days. After a long soak, all those carburetor passageways should be cleared out. When you're ready, connect your fuel line, set the plugs, and see what happens. So there you have it. Instructions and diagrams can be found for all kinds of seafoam treatments on our website's how-to instructions page at seafoamsales.com. Keep in mind that these high concentration treatments can be used in gas and diesel engines of all kinds. We hope this was helpful. 
Until next time, this is Brian with Seafoam Official. Thanks for watching.